Obviously, Betty must be uh, great to be back in contention for the team this week after your suspension last weekend. Yeah, obviously, uh, very happy. Um, uh, we all like to start and play. So, yeah, I'm very happy to come back in, in, the, in the start in 11 and going for, looking forward to, to, to do well for the team. And there must be great buzz around the club at the moment after our 6-3 win against Dartford and uh, drawing Cheltenham all crew in the FA Cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First of all, like, it was good to win that, that game against Dartford. It's never easy to win a game in the FA Cup. Um, and we scored six goals as well, which is very good for the confidence as well. And um, whoever we're going to play against, like... Uh, crew Alexandra or, or Chantanam, we we looking to win the game at home as well. So hope we hoping like can have a decent crowd as well. Uh, do you feel like you've done enough to get a, a regular starting place in the team this season? Uh well, I'm I'm doing my job. I'm doing my job. I'm trying to 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 do well each day, each game, each training session. So so anyway, I'm I gonna continue to do it, and we'll see what happens. And there's a real uh, fierce competition uh, for places in that midfield at the moment. Oh yeah, but like I said, like it's it's going to be good for the team anyway because uh, in in every good team you need competition. If there is no competition, like for me, the team can go uh, higher or or whatever. But yeah, it's good for the for for, for the players, and we can up and play better. So it's fine. Oh, sorry. Uh, we're playing five league games this month. Do you think if we can get a really good uh, amount of uh, impressive results that we can possibly be in that mix for the top five coming at the end of this month? Uh, that's what we're looking for. That's what we're looking for. Um, but we have, we have been in like for five or six games, I think. So we just have to take game, game by game and we'll see what happens. But yeah, we're looking to win games at home and away from home. So. Um, at the end of last month, we had three draws. Did the team see that as points dropped or points gained? Uh, we... I think at Southport, we have been unlucky, but we, we take that. But uh, uh, there is some game we will have dropped points, but it's football and away from home is never easy. So we take that point. And it must be great having uh, quality on the wings like uh, Sterling Deacon to provide for our strikers. Uh, yeah, they're improving. Happy for them because they're doing well. And I hope like, they're going to continue to all the season. So yeah, it's very good to have like, players like them scoring goals and making assists. That's, that's very good. And it must be great for you as well playing with uh, people like Bailey and Eastman this fit, uh, in the midfield who uh, played uh, in, the, in the Football League. So that must be uh, great experience for you. Uh, would be good, would be great because I like both of them. Both of them are strong and good players and uh, we got a good relationship as well. So yeah, it's going to be good to play with them um, in conference or in the league in the future, whatever. So yeah, it's going to be good. How uh, physically tough is this league? Cause it certainly looks a, a step up to National League South in a uh, physicality, especially in that midfield. Uh, for me, I think he's alright. It's not that physical. Um, it's just you play against players who are quite better than Griffin South or North. That's it. And he must have really enjoyed that goal you scored against uh, Macclesfield in August. Uh, yeah, it's been a long time. Yeah, um, looking to score more goals anyway. But yeah, it was a, a little great goal. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Bessanti, thank you very much for talking to SGS TV and good luck for Saturday's game against Barrow.